Okay, today I'm going to go over how to install OS 7.5.3, also known as System 7.5.3, as a guest machine under OS X 10.5 or later. Uh, a couple of things you will need. You will need a copy of the Basilisk 2 GUI and Basilisk 2, which I will post a link on how to get in the description, and a copy of Disk Tools Mac OS 8, which is also a bootable image that I'll uh, make available through the description. You will need a copy of the OS System 5.3 disks, which can be downloaded from Apple's website, which again will be in the description, as well as appropriate ROM files, which I will not provide any description for, but the wiki I'm going to point you at, which is basically the written instructions for what I'm going to show you today, gives you some indication on how to get. Now just bear in mind these ROM files are proprietary information, Apple does not want them shared, so it is software piracy if you download these and you're doing this on your own, I'm not telling you to do it, but you'll need them. Um, there are various things out there if you have your own Mac on how to rip the ROM files for your own personal use, but again, distri distributing them is, uh, is, is highly frowned upon. So, <clears throat> without ado, so what we're going to do here is first we need to create a folder which can be used to send files back and forth between the guest and the host. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to call the folder shared. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and put all my Basilisk files, ROM files, and everything into a folder called Basilisk underneath my root folder. Okay, this is my, my actual home folder, not my root folder, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> in this folder shared, anything that shows up in here is going to show up on the disk called Unix underneath the OS 753 guest. So what we want to do is we want to get these system disks into there. We're going to need to get to these from inside the guest machine, so we need to get them to a place where the guest can get at them. So I'm literally just going to highlight, click, drag, and drop. And that's going to close that out. Next thing we're going to have to do is configure the Basilisk GUI. Okay, from this screen here, we need to establish three things. We need a way to boot the computer, a way to create a hard drive to save all the files to, and an installation source. So the first thing we're going to do is add the boot drive. We already have this, now we just need to add it. So we're going to scroll down here, and that disk utilities thing that we downloaded, this guy here, is our boot drive. Next thing we're going to need to do is create a hard drive. This is where it's going to OS is going to store all its files. Again, I want to keep all my stuff nice and confined to the same location. And I'm going to give this one gigabyte of storage space. And we're going to call it Mac OS 753. This way I can easily identify what the file is. Now this will take a few seconds for it to actually create the file because it is going to create a full one gig file. If you're familiar with VMware, this would be the equivalent of the VMDK uh, image file. Thick provision VMDK. Okay, now we've got that done. So we have those two images loaded. We need to create one more, which is the install source. So again, I want to put all this in the same location. This one needs to be 100 megabyte, and I'm going to call it install disks. And again, it's going to create a 100 megabyte file for me. Now that that's all nice and done, we're going to go to graphics and sound. I have mine pre-configured for 1024 by 768. Go to keyboard and mouse, make any changes here you want to make. Go to serial and network. Modem printer ports, just leave those blank. Ethernet interface should say slurp. If it doesn't, Check the drop down, and if Slurp is there, hit it. it. Should be there. Okay, under memory and miscellaneous, this is where you specify how much RAM you want available to the guest. In my case, 256 megs, and I've opted to go with a Quadro 900 608040 processor, and I'm using my Quadro 650 ROM file. You're going to want to check both of these options here. This one will cut down on CPU usage, and this one will cut down on crashes. Go to your JIT compiler set your cache size, and just check all four of those. I won't go into details on those, but you'll want those. Last thing you want to do, back on the volumes tab, 
is under this Unix root, Unix will be the name that shows up on the desktop of the guest for the shared folder that we've created here. So you're going to want to set this to the full path, not tilde slash whatever. You actually want to do the full root path. Once you've got all your settings, you're going to hit save. Now, just be sure before you start this off, your ROM file is in this folder, the same folder, and your Basilisk 2 file and the GUI folder are in the same folder. All this stuff needs to be in one place. That'll make this work much simpler. If those aren't there, it will crash. So now that we've saved it, we're going to go ahead and hit start. And here's the choice of emulation. Sometimes things don't quite work the way we expect them to. There it goes. All right, so the first thing it's done is saying, hey, you know what, this is a uh, emergency restore disk. We know that is. We're going to hit OK. Now it's going to find two drives. First is the one gig. This is the actual hard drive where you're going to install your OS. I'm going to call it Macintosh HD since that's pretty much the standard. And we're going to hit initialize. And yes, we want to continue doing that. Go ahead. Now it found the other one. This is the installer images. So we're going to call that one installer disks. And initialize it. Okay. This is our shared folder. Like I said, this is the equivalent of where everything else we had on the system is going to be. Okay. This installer disks is where we want everything to be. So, I'm going to highlight in here, click one file, I'm going to do our command A, highlight them all, and drag them over to here, and paste them in place. Reason being, we can't install from the Unix drive, we actually have to move the data over to a virtual disk. If we try and install from the Unix drive, it crashes and, and bad things happen, so it's just not worth trying. Your download should have contained 19 image files. 18 of them will be labeled .part. The first one should be labeled .smi, since so Sam Michael India. If it's not, you probably have a compressed format version. You're at the uncompress each file individually. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to do that here. It shouldn't be necessary if you downloaded it from the Apple repository. That's how they'll come as the .smi and the .part files. Okay, so now we've got all of our image files over. And we want to find the first one, which is right here. And we're going to double click on that. That's going to open our 753 installer. We're going to agree to the license. It's going to mount the installer image. And now we have the mounted image file. Now we're going to run that, which is going to give us the installer. We're going to run the installer. I can get my other window out of the way. There we go. Apologies, recording and clicking at the same time appears to be uh, running a little choppy today. <clears throat> so, as you can see, it found Macintosh HD is where it wants to install. Set for easy install. I'm just going to click install. I'm not going to customize it and just run with the defaults.
This part can take a few minutes, so apologies for the delays. And there we go. So you're going to quit the installer, which is going to boot you back to here. And if you click the window up here, you're going to get the, do you want to shut down? Yes, I want to shut down. You don't want to reboot. You actually want to shut down. Now, I want to go back to my Basilisk 2 window and reopen my GUI. Reason being, I don't want my install disks on there anymore, and I don't want the boot image on there anymore. I just want my system drive at this point. So I'm going to save my changes, and I'm going to fire the beast up. And there you have it, OS 7.5.3, running as a guest machine underneath OS X, in my case, Lion. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to go about updating from 7.5.3 to 7.5.5. So, enjoy!